The International Table Tennis Federation's Korea Open got underway today in Taejeon, which is about 160 kilometers south of the capital, Seoul. And for the very first time, the DPRK sent a 16-member team to the, uh, the Open in South Korea. They are competing as part of an inter-Korean team that is also sporting men's, women's and mixed doubles. And judging by the comments from the South Korean athletes attending, they are hoping for some success. And this isn't without precedent. This is the third time there will have been an inter-Korean table tennis team. And back in May, the second time, we saw the women's doubles take out the bronze in Sweden. And the very first time this happened, back in 1991, the inter-Korean women's team caused a major upset by defeating the defending champions, China. It's all part of... Uh, growing soft diplomacy we're seeing between Pyongyang and Seoul, uh, not just in sports, there's cooperation in areas like forestry, talk of family reunions, art troops, even uh, DPRK movies in a film festival that's underway here in South Korea at the moment. But it's really been sporting cooperation that has been the driving force in diplomacy ever since the Winter Olympics. Now, they can't talk about economic cooperation because of the sanctions. Washington and Pyongyang are taking care of most of the denuclearization talks. So these are the sorts of areas where Pyongyang and Seoul can really cooperate and they see it as assisting that broader process. The Korea Open runs until the 22nd with the major knockout rounds on Thursday. And this is seen really as a practice run for another area of inter-Korean cooperation, which will be the upcoming Asia Games in Indonesia, where the two Koreas will be fielding joint teams in some, not all events, but also in the opening uh, marching group. Jack Barton, CGTN, Seoul.